Hey, God bless and go fish, everybody. Charlie Burrow here. Thank you for watching uh, Go Fish with Charlie Burrow YouTube. Hey, uh, I, I've had a um, couple of requests on uh, a couple of things. I'm going to show you real quick here. How to calibrate your compass, your live scope compass, and my umbrella setup. So it's hot out here. I need the umbrella right now. Just got here, and it's, gosh, it's probably, I think it's 1030 already. I should already have a lemon of fish and be headed home, but uh, hey, that's the way I, I fish. Anyway, let's go up here and uh, show you real quick how to quickly calibrate that compass. And that's something that Garmin recommends. They told me they recommend doing it like every time. I don't do it every time, but it's a good rule of thumb to do it every, you know, three or four outing for sure. So anyway, let me show you what we do. All right, here we go. I'm already getting a uh, warning that the uh, camera is getting too hot. It's, well, it's, it's just hot. All right, here's what you do. Turn this live scope on. I'm going to activate transmit. That is on. Let's go down here to sonar setup. Go down to installation. Click on that. Calibrate compass. <clears throat> now I've already calibrated it a few trips back, but uh, I'm going to calibrate it again. So we're going to hit calibrate. Now it says right here. Let's see if y'all can read that. Turn the boat one and a half times in either direction. Turn quickly, but keep the boat level and steady while turning. Well, that's all I read the first time. You know, guys, we don't like to follow instructions, but the next thing it says, if mounted to a trolling motor, which mine is, the trolling motor should be off and deployed. Well, the first time I did it, I deployed it, but I did not turn the troll motor off. It was still on, so it would not calibrate. And I went, man, I went in circles for 30 minutes out there. Got got dizzy headed from going in so many circles. So what we're going to do, gonna deploy the troll motor. Turn it on. Now it's in the water. Make sure you do this out in good open water, no stumps, because we're going to be turning it with the big motor. So, looks like I'm just waiting for the troll motor to sync up, which I don't really need that anyway. Okay, begin. Right, let me back up. My fat thumb got in the way installation calibrate compass calibrate and I'm gonna go back here what I'm gonna do is crank up the big motor I'm gonna go around a couple of times in a real tight circle and we'll just watch the screen see what it says again calibration and progress Status, success, magnetic environment, 89%, 89%, spin quality, 93%. So we're going to hit OK, and we're good to go. And the reason I, I did this, I noticed the uh, last couple of trips, my, uh, my bottom, uh, my bottom line on the, on the uh, sonar was getting real wavy. And uh, when you turn it back and forth, it would just be real wavy. So this should straighten all that out. Let me see here. I need to go adjust my depth. I'm in 23 feet of water. 
down to where I can see the bottom right there. There we go. All right. Now, probably need, see I need to adjust, every time I go out, I adjust my, uh, you can't even see the screen, can you? The sun's so bright. What I'm doing, I'm just going to adjust the uh, gain a little bit here. Take a lot of that fuzz out. Put it on about uh, 60. Sonar set up. I'm going to look at this a minute. Noise reject medium. Ghost reject. That came with the last download, up, upload, whatever. Um, I don't use it. I leave it off. TVG is off. Just want to see something. Yeah, that. I might try it on load today. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to go fish. All right, guys. I'm going to show you quick and I I mean real quick it's hot out here uh, I use these uh, buddy seat double seat from Millennium it's called the um, what is that sidekick and order you when you when you get that you can get it with or without the seats I did not need the seats because these things will accept the existing uh, seats that you have in your boat if it's a regular pedestal stand like that but order you an extra little post right here and take that rascal you put it on right there and uh, tighten it down then show you what else I do with the Home Depot get you a section of uh, what does that say one and a half inch. That's just regular old um, Schedule 40 PVC pipe. Take that and you're gonna pop it down in here. I might set the camera down and get that in there. All right guys, next thing you're gonna want to do is go to uh, Academy or wherever, pick you up one of those big patio umbrellas. This is fixing to make life a lot better out here. So much sweat running down my face, I can't see a thing. I've got the uh, PVC in that little holder. Now you just pop this in. Beauty thing is, you can uh, slide that thing around, and the top of it does tilt. But a um, little word of advice: I was out here fishing recently. <coughs> the wind picked up, and uh, my troll motor wouldn't work. Man, I was having to run it on speed six or seven, and eventually on eight, where I normally run it on about three or f two or three. And I told Pam, I said, man, these troll motor batteries need to be replaced. This thing can't keep up. I said, troll motor's struggling. She said, well, dummy, it might be that big parachute you got over your head is pulling the boat backwards. And so <laughs> these things do act like a parachute. They, you'll look like Mary Poppins out here. But I can tell you the temperature is fixing to drop about 20 degrees on me. Let's go fish.